Welcome back to Red Rider Baseball with Dan Spencer. Texas Tech on Friday night hosting another top 25 Big 12 opponent in the Kansas Jayhawks, but they did so wearing the throwback uniforms at Dan Law Field. The Red Raiders looking like the bee's knees in the hometown glad rags. Willie Reddle leading things off in the bottom of the first. He says applesauce to the one-two pitch, and the good guys get a trolley on the tracks. The first of a season-high 21 hits from your hometown lumber. Joey Kenworthy up to bat. The text is looking to cut into a 4-0 deficit. The Big Six waits on the OO offering, and he decides it's the berries. He gives it the old bums rush down the left field line and out of the park. And how the fall guy in left gets the high hat on the hay burner as the Red Raiders' first runs of the night come hoofing the home to make it a two-run hootenanny. Kenworthy's jitney Ferretta making things Jake. 4-2 Jayhawks. Hard-boiled Chris Richburg up next, and he's real keen on the 2-2 pitch. He takes it for a ride over the fence for back-to-back -back all the way aces for the hometown nine. Richburg, a real eager beaver at the Red Raider ring-a-ding-ding as the good guys end a six-game ding a drought. And how? Richburg's 10th home run of the year, part of a three-for-five night at the dish for the Darb. 4-3 birds on top through one. Top two now, start of Brian Cloud, romp in the hill. The senior says, hey, Hepcat, how about a swing and a miss? The alligators are loving it. Time to take a powder for the cement mixer. The righty with four Ks and four innings of work. One out and a butter and egg man on the hot corner for Retta in the bottom of the second. Willie swinging the Chicago typewriter and scoot, scoot, scoot to second on the chisel into the right corner. Stand up RBI game tying two bagger for Steamboat Willie. A real hatchet man at the plate. Four hits and four runs driven in for the senior. Big Cheese Dan Spencer says, now we're on the trolley, boys. Taylor Ashby would drive in the go-ahead run on the base hit. The Sheamus at first says, sorry, Mac, Banks closed. The throw not in time, and it's no trip for biscuits as Retta comes in like eggs and coffee to get the good guys out of the hot squad. 5-4, your hometown torpedoes take the lead, see? But the jelly beans from the Sunflower State would put a wet blanket on the Red Raiders' clam bake in there, half of the third. A two-run flivver to left center from Kibosh at Tony Thompson will put the Jayhawks on the frolic pad and give them a 6-5 advantage. Nobby third now, the ballgame copacetic at sixes, no outs, and two hoppers on for Retta. And the senior tells the full count pitch to dangle. The two-run hit part of a four-run inning as Steamboat gets his Archies out of the hooskow and back into the lead. Nine to six, the good guys in the catbird seat. Two outs and a runner on in the wet smack fourth. The bean sent to the outfield, looking to go up the works, but Taylor Ashby says, I've got to shake a leg, and puts his plates to work. The drumstick's covering a lot of ground, and he makes the slide and catch to end the inning. It's the cat's pajamas. You shred it, Wheat. The Wheat fifth now, Robert Kilcrease toeing the rubber. He says, hey, Jelly Bean, I'll trade you two wooden nickels for a Brody clam bake. The batter takes him up on the grift, a uh, little flim flam to get out of the frame. Our boy Robbie with two Ks, three hits, and three runs in two innings of elbow grease. To the six we go, the talk to the Bricks boys, looking to open up a one-run ball game, and that's what they do, and how? Ashby putting the finishing touches on the big six, six hit, six run six, with a two-run base knock to put the game on ice. The Red Raiders' third consecutive Friday night Big 12 victory at the Law. Kilcrease notches his third W of the year. Kenworthy records his team best 17th multiple-hit game of the season. 15-10 to 10 is your Friday night lowdown from the Law.